low task. Hello? Hello, Oliver. Hello? Hello, Bruce. Okay. The host of today's meeting. This is number one, the first meeting of Tron Core Devs. We have got everyone here. Today's agenda is about Tron's latest updates, Java Tron framework, and the plan for next call. In Java Tron framework, we will talk about the framework introduction, framework specification, framework deployment, and the framework in the future. After all those is the QE step. First, anyone who has some updates, Oh, sure, Bruce. Uh, actually, I got some updates for NPC shielded transactions. Um, okay, so I will start directly. And uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Tai Ho from Tron Z team. And so actually, in this February, we are planning to release Java Tron version 4.0 feature, uh, featuring shielded transaction, and which will be first applied to Tron Z uh, TRC10 token. So I just want to uh, do a very brief introduction about uh, shielded transaction. And the uh, shielded transaction we created and verified is based on ZK snack and grows 16 algorithms and requires some common parameters to build spin proof and output proof circuits. Proof can be faked uh, if common pro, uh, parameters were messed up. So the process of generating common parameters, or we call it NPC protocol, can be done by a single person. And the more participants there are, the more secure uh, the parameters will be. And uh, uh, the parameters can work properly as long as there is at least, um, at least one honest participant. And from December 20 to December 30 last year, we have a beta tested NPC and applied the parameters to now testnet. And Tronzi based uh, its MPC process on parameters provided by about 100 uh, Zcash participants to make transi uh, transactions even more secure. And the mainline MPC process uh, has already started and from uh, January the 1st this year. And for now, about six uh, participants, including some former Zcash volunteer, have completed uh, the process. And we are also looking forward for more people to join uh, the process. So you can, you guys can uh, actually check out our project uh, in our GitHub and the Tron protocol MPC. And the MPC process is expected to end uh, several months later. And after that, uh, parameters will be applied to in that. So uh, that's all from my side, Bruce. Okay, thank you, Tai Hao. Who else have updates? Uh, hello, I'm, I'm Oliver, and uh, I, uh, we have launched the Nile test network. It is highly synchronized with the developed branch of Zhaochang, and it is also very stable. And uh, we can use some of the latest features on this test, ne test uh, network, such as creating and sending a shared uh, transaction. And also we promise we never delete any data of this test network. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, anyone who have more updates? Okay, according to the agenda, Michael, Mono, Zachary will use the framework. Oh, are you ready? Uh, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. I'm Michael. I'm responsible for the architecture part of the project. I'm obsessed with blockchain. I want to be friends with all the developers around the world. It's an honor to introduce the modularizing of Java Tron to all of you. It is known that the module design is a highly ideal software engineering practice. Module programming is a software design technique. It is special because uh, it's uh, 
separates the functional functionality of a program into independent uh, interchangeable modules and uh, each it contains everything necessary to execute only one aspect of the desirabilities. We see the blockchain system more as a platform for various the apps to run. Uh, well, our module design of Zhaochang is meant to help developers easily build a blockchain dedicated to one application. An app is a chain. I used to play Crypto Kitties on ECM. It's a popular game that takes up 16% of the traffic on ECM during its peak. But uh, it caused a serious uh, congestion on the platform. It was difficult, difficult to make a simple transaction uh, at that time, and uh, I paid a uh, super, uh, a very, uh, very, very high gas fee of when I try to make a transaction. So the Tron network is 100 times more efficient than ECM. Uh, we still have uh, to learn the lesson. And, uh, you know, uh, that's why we, um, we work on modularization. It can enable uh, APP developers um, to uh, to build a chain rather than simply an app on the chain. When the app is a uh, one chain, we um, aim to minimize the cost of developing blockchain infrastructure and uh, allow APP developers to build a chain easily, as if they were building blocks. Developers can select the Consensus uh, me mechanism, be it a definite one like PBFT or a probabilistic one like POW, based on their use case use cases. We shared the underlying implementation details of blockchain from developers, so uh, they can focus more on business uh, scenarios. The system or blockchain is like a key. It's inside it, there are many established uh, technologies. For example, the P2P technology for node communication, the consensus um, mechanism that allows distributed systems to stay in the same state, and also the storage technology used to record states. All these technologies are well suited to become independent modules, and they can only be accessed through specific interfaces. The modular, the modular design of Zhaotron will lay a solid foundation for building application-specific blockchains, in addition to many other benefits. First, that uh, well, Function-wise, uh, dividing the Java Trump public chain into a mix of modules will lead to a clear architecture. So it is, it is easier to scale up codes and at the same time, application developers can easily add or remove features of the blockchain. Secondly, each module is an independent, independent com component will we will gradually present each component in the form of an out-of-the-box project. Thirdly, an interface-oriented development model allows us to decouple modules and easily replace them. For example, we have one Valve DB-based storage module and one Rocks DB-based module. Both are implemented through the same interface. Javatron now contains six modules, a protocol, a common, a chain base, a consensus, an architecture, and a framework module. Future versions will separate out a crypto module, a HTTP API module, and an RPC module, two of my college 
while also our core developers Mano and Sakri will talk about what each module is for and how it is designed. Thank you. Mamo will walk you through some modules we have done. Okay, sorry. Wait a moment. I'll share my screen for for the infrastructure. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Mono. My job is uh, mainly for the actuator module and the chain based module. Javatron is uh, Javatron's code base is managed uh, by the multi module feature of Gradle. Every module can be compiled uh, individually. Now we have altogether five modules. Um, they are actuator, chain based protocol framework, and uh, consensor. First, I will introduce the framework module. First is the most important module. It manages the boot stage of Javatron and the loading of other modules. Um, frameworks now combines many functional parts into one, including P2P network, um, block synchronization, transaction broadcasting, um, block handling, and uh, HTTP and gRPC interfaces. Mm, that's for framework module. Now I'll introduce another basic module, the protocol module. Pro protocol module is a standalone. It uh, is in the repo um, Tron protocol slash protocol. It's not only used by Java Tron system, but also many others, such as uh, wallet apps and uh, other RPC clients. Mm. Protocol is divided uh, into two parts. The one is the uh, basic protocol data structures defined Google above, including blocks, transactions, contracts, and so on. Also, there is a gRPC communication um, part. The, another is the uh, protocol protocol. Proto, protobuf classes uh, is generated by proto c proto c and command line other modules like uh, chain base common actuator and uh, framework are all depends on the generated classes so next uh, the common module in common wraps uh, the many common classes in other interfaces uh, it's just uh, for uh, abstraction. Um, I'll introduce uh, the Chainbase module. Um, Chainbase is the uh, database module. We now have LevelDB and uh, RocksDB support. Uh, the t um, these two can be chosen by configuration files. Um, there are two abstract uh, track, uh, common DB interface classes. The, the chain base is for a single database, and the uh, uh, chain base manage is for the management interface. Um, chain base contains many basic uh, database operations, including open or closed, uh, get some key, put some key, delete some key, or check uh, where it has some key. Um, chain base management uh, manager class is responsible for all the Mm, basic management for the mm, database module and providing some basic operation mm, and uh, method for operating the database. Mm, mm, there are basic stores like uh, account store. It manages a uh, basic account like account profile, account Account ID, uh, assert balances, or something like this. Um, it's a block store. It uh, is a very important. It manages the, the basic block, like uh, block transactions, block headers, uh, other meta, and uh, you can query the current highest block. Um, also, the witness block for the witness uh, nodes. Uh, and the words for the um, for managing voting and uh, um, 
like likes to and uh, basic uh, information. Also, the proposal um, a set issue as an uh, a set issue store is managed is manages uh, all the TRC ten tokens. Also, new TRC twenty tokens are managed by it uh, too. Um, also, there are many. There are others like uh, contract store for contracts, uh, and delegate resources store, um, dynamic uh, property store, and so on. Um, that's for the chain based store. Now, let I'll introduce the consensus module. Um, for consensus, uh, we now adopt uh, depots and. Uh, we will switch to a uh, mixed consensus of depots and uh, BPFT in the future. Um, for a clear code structure, we abstract the consensus module a step further into a common interface classes. Um, Tron Network adopts the improved depot schema. Unlike traditional depots, it's managed by global Tron users. They were the super representations and that all super representations can have almost the same rights. Mm. Mm. For that, uh, every user votes for their most uh, um, profits or interest, mm. and uh, the whole system, whole system tends to become more decentralized and more distributed. Unlike US, Tron will vote for about for 27 super representatives using one block every three seconds. And uh, uh, SR will get uh, 32 rewards, 32 TRX rewards for producing a block. Mm. And we will switch to mixed consensus of depots and BPFT. To have more detail, we will use depots for SR selection and uh, producing blocks and uh, use BPFT for block confirmation. Uh, anyone who is interested in the mix mixed consensus can follow our updates on the official Twitter. That's all for the consensus. Now I'll introduce to the transaction module. Uh, transaction module is the uh, also called the actuator module. Um, now we have about uh, 29 different kinds of transactions. Um, we, now, uh, we now support the customized transactions too, only by um, adding your transaction.jar files to the lib directory. The actuator will load your customized transaction type automatically. We also made the abstractions and uh, build the common actuator interface classes for, for that uh, validating, executing, and uh, calculating the consumed resources. Mm, take uh, transfer, transfer actuator as an example. It's uh, used for transferring TRX among accounts. Validate, validate function will first validate whether the transaction is illegal. If it uh, is not illegal, it won't broadcast uh, the transaction. Mm, for more detail, first it will validate the ad address formats of the sender and the recipient. Then it refuses the uh, uh, same address of sender and the recipient. Uh, and it will uh, account balances. Uh, execute the execute, you know, execute function will then execute the transaction, modify the account balances, create an account when it does not exist. Mm, as about as I just said, customized transaction is uh, very easy just by putting your customized jars to the picture directory. Um, thank you. Secretary will run a demo to show how to deploy more a uh, module. Okay. okay. Well, thanks, Mona. Because um, mainly we are talking about uh, the modular our code, so I just make you a simple demo for how to deploy a full node just after modularization. So first, I will share my screen to you. Let's see like this. So for now, you are doing like Java, well, Java, Java, full node. 
or something like this to start a tune out. But well, you can use it by now, but it is deprecated immediately. Uh, not very soon, but uh, it will be deprecated. So I'm going to show you something different. So firstly, in the in Java Troll, you you will do Gradle Gradle W build. Uh, I've already done this because for the first time it takes you about like 50 minutes or something like that. So I've already done this, and after that you can go into build distributions. You can find a, a something called. Which one one zero zero dot zip um find this file okay and and zip this yeah okay all right and one more thing after zip this oh no it depends on the there are two ways. Basically, um, just on the config file you prefer. The config file. Um, if you want to use your own one, you can do something like this. One zero. Okay. So Bing, full node. Yep. And say config. So this way, you will use an own config file. And to demo, I, yeah, I just, I just run something like this. So this way you will use the default config. Well, it's all done. Okay. Uh, and I got something more to show. So this one, you can say there's a something called Java Tron VM options. Yeah. Uh, well, inside there's a, these are VM startup parameters. Yeah. And the scripts will load these prompts automatically. So you don't, you don't have to, uh, well, specify these manually. Okay. And this is the demo part. And I, I would talk about what we will do in the 2020, something more about the modularization. Yeah. So basically we will have, um, well, we, we will down our modularize um, in 2020, we will have a P2P module, a backup module, a blockchain module, and a crypto, and API module and more will be further decoupled from the framework module based on how independent each function is. So this way the entire system will be fully compartmentalized into modules each in charge of one function. Yeah. And the framework module will be only responsible for organizing the initialization, launch and shutdown of different modules. Okay. Um, also, we will add a cross-chain module um, and for starters and some developers, we will provide more tutorials to guide the community. Okay, so um, I think we will complete the work um, by the end of 2020. Um, yes, thank you. That's good. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anyone who has some questions? Hello, Luis. Do you have some questions? I'm fine for now. Yeah. Do you have a question about the framework? No, not this time. Ah, okay. Hello, crypto team. Hello. 
take here. Yeah, is there any problem? No, no, all good. Ah, okay. That is pretty much all we have for this meeting. Now we will take questions from you. Okay. Uh, I have no questions. Uh, all good, thank you. Okay. Who have a question? Uh, I have a question. Uh, will Chuang and the uh, Sun Network uh, be merged into the same code base? Uh, Mm, okay, that is a good question. About the code base, you mean the GitHub repository, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, okay, currently they will not be merged, but we may abstract the common macros to Maven in the future. Okay, got it. Do you have a question, Richard? Hello, I'm Richard. Uh, as you mentioned, the uh, uh, modularization, uh, but I did not think the material uh, uh, I have a question about it. Will Chuan modularize the material machine and will Chuan support the web assembly material machine in the future? Some, anyone could answer me? Mm, okay. Uh, yes, of course. We will support web assembly as web assembly has uh, many advantages over solidity for its uh, high speed, low cost, uh, easier to learn, and uh, you can almost use your favorite programming language. And uh, it it is becoming more and more popular among blockchain developers. So we will have a deep investigation into Ethereum's uh, EWSM implementation and uh, other WebAssembly adopters. Sorry for not having a timeline timeline yet, but uh, it is uh, a high priority. Thank you. Oh, hello, Phil. I saw you are typing. Yeah. So the last guy, I I cannot understand the question the last the last guy asked. So could you please just repeat your question? Um, um, because I'm not, I don't okay. know what you say. Okay, Richard, can you repeat your question? Hello, my question is: Will Chuang support Web Assembly? What you were saying in the future? Oh wait, wait. What do you mean Web Assembly? What this means? W A S M. W A S M. What 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 is this? Sorry, sorry. No, no. W A S M. Sorry, what what is this? Uh, this oh, okay, is okay, okay, okay. Okay. Kind so. of uh, what you must say. Okay, still I I will, I will Google it. I will Google it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, can you see the world mono just type in the Yeah, 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 I I, I can I can see it. So which okay. yeah because these you I yeah okay so no problem. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Uh, uh yeah, I, I have a question. So is anybody can tell me the difference between the level D B and the mock uh, log db in uh, and how do you guys implement these two database, uh, this db in Java Chong? Uh, uh, hello, uh, nice uh, to meet you. Thanks, oh, yeah. thanks for your thanks for your question. Uh, uh, both the uh, uh, Leo DB and the REST DB are uh, uh, implementation uh, of the storage. Uh, and uh, uh, Leo DB is the first uh, is the first one, uh, and uh, uh, you can use the uh, REST DB uh, to back up the st uh, storage. Uh, and the uh, rock DB is less uh, space used uh, and more efficient. Uh, if you uh, if you want to replace uh, with uh, other uh, uh, storage engine, uh, you can just uh, uh, implement uh, implements uh, the uh, interface DB source enter uh, 
and uh, uh, and replace it. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so one more question. So, what 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 is the MLPC you you guys just mentioned? What 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 that? Oh, you mean the MPC? Yeah, it is for yeah. the shielded transaction. So it's the MPC, not MPC, right? MPC. MPC. Multi. M, right? Multi. Okay, 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 okay. Got you. Yeah. Uh, got you, got you. But because sometimes I hear from somebody say MPC, also it's ah. MPC. Okay. okay. MPC, okay, not MPC. Okay, got you. Okay. okay. Hello, team. You have been very quiet. Do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Uh, we will try and base module, spot MongoDB, or other kinds of distributed storage. Oh, mm, our team this module defines some interface of blockchain. Any database that implements our interface will be supported. Okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. One more question, one more question. Um, does the main stand or standby module support one main and multiple standby? Uh, yes, it does. It starts oh. multiple stand standby. Okay, good. Any more questions? Hello, I'm Richard. I'm interested in the, in the consensus module. Um, imagine the uh, the consensus module will use the post and the PBFT. Uh, could you tell me what improvement the PBFT can bring? Well, PBFT brings several benefits. It accelerates the block completion process. Simply meaning is that it used to cost one minute. Oh, oh, okay. So you are oh, implementing. Okay, 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 okay. I'll okay, get you. Okay. More questions? Yes, I still have a question. Um, what kinds of knowledge I need to prepare if I want to develop Java Trump project? Uh, okay, so so I'm Tai Hao. Um, so basically, uh, as you know, it's Java Trunk, so, so the first thing you need to do is uh, learn Java, uh, definitely. And the second thing is uh, we're using a uh, Spring Framework. So um, uh, a Spring Framework knowledge is a big plus for you. And uh, for data, uh, database side, we use LevelDB and DocsDB, so uh, you can just learn. Uh, some level DB knowledge and uh, how the key value will be stored and how to uh, read read the value. And uh, oh, okay. The other thing is the P two P. So we have different diff different kind of uh, algorithms such as uh, Gaussian and uh, Cadmilla algorithms. So uh, you may um, uh, go through the knowledge uh, about the algorithm algorithms and uh, also some P two P connections and uh, how to do handshakes, how to uh, transfer information uh, from, from peer to peer. And uh, uh, the other thing is, if you are very interested in uh, smart contract part, uh, you may need to learn some Solidity language, and which is defined by Ethereum. Um, Ethereum. So, um, so this is a kind of a, a that part for it. And uh, if you are very from, uh, familiar or you are you want to learn something about uh, um, the consensus you may need to read some papers about uh, PBFT and uh, depots and POW and some kind of this kind of uh, consensus and that's all from my side yes actually there are a lot of things you can learn okay okay thanks I, I guess the quick way they can learn is like <laughs> check out our github Java Tron, and then there are a lot of documents. You just take a view and then click link you are interested in. And there's some, there's some website 
you yes, exactly. the, they have yes, left, uh, yes. they have some community like uh, we set up in the GitHub homepage. So if you like, feel free to take a look and then uh, sign up something. Yeah. So if you cannot, if either of this way cannot solve your problem, something, maybe you can ask something in uh, group trust. There are a lot of passionate engineer can help you to learn your job. Yeah. It's, it's really nice to hear about you. And anyway, welcome to join join Java Chong community. Hope you guys can can be a new new builder in the future. I agree. I agree. We have okay. very strong community. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. 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 Anyone who have some suggestions for the development of Java Chong? Hello, Luis. Do you have some questions or suggestions? Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I don't have uh, any questions. Um, uh, just a quick question. Well, actually, wait. Are you guys recording the session? Will be made available? Yes, of course. All right. Okay. I think for the possible, you know, um, if we can arrange more of the content with slides, it's easier then to follow. Um, just a suggestion from our side. Ah, uh, yes, we will do that. That's it for me. Okay. Hello, Crypto Team. What about you? No, no more questions. Yeah, very good. Ah, uh, okay. So, as this is the first meeting of the Tron Core Devs meeting, we want to make it regular in the future. Uh, the next meeting will be held in March, maybe, and uh, we will talk about a new consensus, TBFT, in Tron. You all can leave a comment about the items you want to discuss in the next meeting issue. After review, we will add it to the agenda. Anything else, anybody? If no, the meeting will be closed. Okay, thank you everybody. Have a good day and we will talk to you in the next meeting. Thank you, bye. Thanks, bye. See you. Bye.